Well, I, I thought we played our best basketball uh, of the season. You know, it's always too bad when uh, the end doesn't come out the way that you want it to come out. But uh, really like the change that we made this week with our team and um, how we're playing together and how we're executing uh, offensively and um, you know defensively, especially uh, at times. And just didn't make enough plays at the end. And you got to give Missouri credit; uh, they did. And and uh, you know they had a couple couple turning points there. I thought that transition three was huge. That was the only transition three we gave up all night, I think, uh, which was a huge goal of ours was to not let them get going in transition. Um, but that one, uh, that, I think that put them up three. And then we were playing a little bit from behind the rest of the way. And um, But I, I love the effort of our of our players. I'm really proud of, of how we played and um, with the fight that we played with and um, the intensity and, and the passion that we played with. The three-pointer was big for both teams in the first half. I'm not sure you guys hit one in the second half, and that one might have been the only one. Yeah, I think that was the only half. one, so, yeah. Uh, what changed uh, that really took away the three-pointer in the second half? Well, you you got to credit our players. We, we talked about it at halftime. Uh, we knew we couldn't give uh, 24 one more open, open three. They were setting a lot of screens for her uh, to get open, so we talked about just staying really tight to her not letting them have open threes, being steady, having high hands. I uh, thought our guards did a tremendous job of getting through those screens. And so as we did that, then they started to pound it into the post. And our interior defense um, wasn't as good as it, as it, uh, as it could have been. Some, some easy catches there on the block. And um, you know, that's really how they scored in the second half. You got to give you know, Sierra Porter uh, kudos for really taking it at us in the second half. And she didn't, I think she what, missed one shot, uh, made every shot that she had in there. And, and, um, just did an overall nice job. And then on our end, you know, they went to a zone and, and uh, you know, I thought they really fanned out. We had any open middle gap that we, that, we, that we wanted. The ball got to the middle really easily, which means the zone is spread out. Um, so in the second half, we were going to get layups, and that's what we got. Uh, you know, we got nine layups in the second half, and, uh, you know, we just needed to, to convert on a couple more of them. I think we made four of them. Um, you know, and when you're when you're trying to when you're playing against a good team and, and trying to win the game, uh, the goal is to you know be eight for nine, nine for nine on those on those layups, and and uh, we just couldn't quite couldn't quite get that done. Do you feel good about the preparation this team is having? You know, when you're about to enter the Pac-12. I do. You know, I, I just told our team that Missouri is like Oregon State, and they're like Stanford, um, and and so we've now faced a team that they're, they're very similar to those types of teams. You know, Kentucky and Florida uh, were a lot like the more athletic teams in the conference, Cal um, and, and those guys. And so we've seen a lot of different types of, of basketball. Uh, we've had a pretty tough non-conference schedule, uh, especially for a young team. And, you know, there hasn't been a lot of easy ones to, to be able to learn a lot uh, from. But um, we, we are, I feel like we are prepared. And, uh, you know, obviously we got two Got two games left after finals week, and um, we have another good week like we had this last week. And I really like where we're sitting uh, going into going into conference play. Coach has made a, a bit of a habit of, of showing up in really big games against good teams. Um, how has her growth uh, been in your eyes as a coach uh, since getting onto campus and, and after the night? Well, you know, Kennedy uh, ran our team tonight and, and uh, did a nice job of finding the open player. Um, you know, probably could have had a, a few more assists based on just making some shots, us, the rest of our, our team making some shots. Um, you know, but, uh, you know, she's, she doesn't get rattled. Uh, she's, she's staying very composed. Uh, she's doing a much better job at taking care of the basketball. thought she did some nice things uh, in that today. And, and, you know, she makes plays, you know, and, and you need players that step up. And as a coach, you can't design everything that's going to happen in a game. Uh, and Kennedy's one of those players that you give her a framework and then say, do it. And, and she finds a way to, to get things done and, you know, hits a bank shot coming off an on-ball screen, things like that all the time that, you know, you think it's lucky, but I've seen her hit bank three after bank three in practice to win the scrimmage, you know. And so I know that's something that, that she does. She just finds a way. It doesn't have to be pretty. Um, it can be pretty, but it doesn't have to be, and, and she's okay with that. How do you like this, uh, this trio of freshmen? They put up almost 30 combined today. Uh, how, how have they been just as a group? Well, you look at our run in the first half, and they were they were all three in, um, you know, and, and that's pretty impressive. Um, you know, they had they have great passion, they have great energy, uh, they're winners, you know, and, and that's what you uh, that's what you that's what you want. And obviously, there's a certain amount of growth, um, you know, with, when it comes to knowing the 
the intricacies of the game and what to look for and things like that. But you got to love their passion and their ability to fight and, and play. And um, thought they all did three did some really nice things today. Do you think Kennedy specifically is, is ready to kind of be a, a leader in this backcourt going into back twelve play? Yeah, and you know the good thing is is you know she's got help, um, and so that's a good thing. You know, and I think our point guard position is is pretty uh, is pretty talented. Brecca you know, at the point, Alexis at the point at times, and, and Kennedy, I mean, you can't go wrong with, with those three. Any more questions? Just that, talk about that 16-4 run. You guys got it by 10. Uh, obviously, weren't able to extend it. They responded with a 16-4 run. What could you guys have done differently, maybe? And obviously, it's, you know, it's a young team, and you know, it's, there's probably some things you look at that are good, but out of that 16-4 run, what do you teach them about what they could have done to make that not so Well, good? I think in, the, in that run, I think we had three turnovers in a row. Um, and we had two or three a little bit questionable de de decisions on, on maybe the shot that we wanted, quick shots, um, which allowed them to, to go. And they didn't, when you, when you take a quick shot, it's great if it goes in. Uh, if it doesn't go in, then you're not having to make them work on defense. And if you don't make them work on defense, then they get to spend all their energy on offense. Um, and we're working on defense. So it's not a good combination. We want to make them work on, on defense uh, by moving the basketball. You know, when we went on that run in the first half, it was because we were moving the ball. The ball didn't stop with one person. Uh, it got shifted around. We hit the open player, um, you know, and, and I thought we even had more openings, you know, against the zone. And, um, you know, they, they have – Missouri hasn't played a ton of zone. They got in foul trouble. So it kind of forced their hand a little bit and, and had to play a ton of zone. Um, and, you know, we haven't faced – we haven't faced a ton of zone this year. I mean, I can probably count on two hands the amount of minutes we've had to play zone offense, you know, and so you look at that as, as something that that, that um, we weren't as comfortable uh, against that. But at some point, then you have to become comfortable. Uh, after you see it for a few minutes, you get used to what, you, you know, the, the, the openings. Uh, again, I thought we had so many openings against that zone, and we did a nice job of finding that high post. Um, just couldn't, uh, just couldn't find find a way to put the ball in the basket. Any news on Lauren Huggins at all? I don't know. She walked off, so that is always a good sign, but I'm not quite sure what she what she hurt yet. Okay. Thanks, Coach. All right, thanks.